Hello everyone, this is James Wiebe with Radian Instruments. Today I want to explain to you the airspeed function which is embodied within our, our new Gen 2 instruments. It's got tons of features that you want and I've got a demonstration of it next to a conventional old steam gauge airspeed indicator at the same time. First of all, our unit has multiple functions as I mentioned. So if you hold the button you can switch between the altimeter representation and the airspeed representation. Then we can see that uh, we've just got loads of features. In this case, I've got it set up to zero to 200. Uh, you can select zero to 100 or zero to 200. You can select miles per hour or knots. Uh, you can select your ranges. So you can select the start of your green, the start of your yellow, or the start of your red. Uh, you can uh, uh, just configure it so it exactly matches your airplane and your preferences. Uh, then between the two scales, uh, you can see that we've got airspeed and the dial representation for the altimeter, although I'm going to focus on the airspeed here. So I've got this plumbed up with a pressure source so that we're able to see both the airspeed uh, of the Gen 2 instrument and the airspeed of the uh, old school steam gauge at the same time. If I change the pressure, you can see how they respond. We get a great smooth response and it's quicker than the dial representation if the airspeed is changing faster. But we can also see some other cool features. So before you turn into the green range, that is before we go that way, we have a white indication. When you're in the green range, you have a green indication. When you're in the yellow range, you have a yellow indication. And when you've overspeeded your airplane, you have a red indication. Here's our calculation of true airspeed based on pressure and temperature. Here's our VSI. If it's red, we're going down. If it's white, we're going up. Here's our digital altitude. And here's our settable uh, Colesman window. We can move that up or down anytime we want. Now, um, I just wanted to show you a bit of the sensitivity as well, if I can pull this off. You can see that we're getting indications at 0, 2, 3, and 4. Meanwhile, the needle isn't moving at all. And if I can carefully move my pressure, you can see how we can increase pressure up to 10 over here, and we still haven't moved the needle at all over there. So we just get a quicker indication with the digital electronics as to what's happening on our speed on the ground and very smooth as well. So bottom line is this provides you with lots of functions uh, along with things that you just can't get from the old school stuff. This is great as a primary instrument or as a backup instrument in experimental light sport and ultralight airplanes. You can buy it now. There's a special introductory price that gets you the temperature probe and uh, air, uh, true airspeed calculation basically for free. Uh, and uh, I'd encourage you to do so. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.